He's understanding the keys to the universe and so that the main goal would be that even a kid could do all these like graduate works and not being confined to the secrets and definitely not getting tricked by a deep dark secret of a hidden agenda to the finest dynamics to get the most connoisseurship of the most unique architect architectures and dynamics that Earth has to provide. They're miraculous uh obstacles they encountered and how they came out good or bad on the other end it's just a great way of filtering uh who's the good guys and who's the bad guys and what are the bad guys trying to do and the cross between just taking down firewalls would be a great stance across the board and then finding outlets as opposed to um, can be represented like a heart or a brain. And if it's like a brain, the paths coming off of the earth like magnetospheres are represented as like neurons that have paths that are curvy versus a, as a heart. If the earth was a heart, it would have these veins that have cross threads that are like roots. And what you make out of that putting the center of the earth at a certain experiment is going to be the offshoots of it. It's important to know the offshoots and how not to be a gerbil of an experiment. Why I'm trying to like explain houses made out of wax or cards or glass or cake is all just, um, I guess really honing in on what it means when they say time flies when you're having fun, that when things are boring, they're slow as death. Your clock, and clocks are firing off of radiuses. Uh, radiuses is how accurate the clock is, given that gravity about the material is warping it. The warpage of the, instead of having a part of the accelerator smash everything to find the answer, orchestrate a house that collapsed, but instead of it collapsing, just having the drawbridge go down, it'll be equivalent. The ability to manage what your diet is. Something more than just like a dog returning to his farm. So similarly, how infections can carry things that are allocated in genomes, and it's just striking that it's a computer inside of a material the immune system are oddly similar to how uh, buildings engineering of different makeups could be. Your body's makeup of different organs are regulations. And so in narrowing the uh, Overton window, you can clear out the waterfront or lay out the waterfront. You can see what's coming out of the woodwork, all with a Rosetta Stone or skeleton key. <sighs> And so the infinity is all sudden of something that can't be stopped or done are a lot more clearer in representations of buildings, the different types of them. Okay, so I'm starting to understand the problem and it has to do with the difference between an environment and a body. If you have an intricacy of blueprints making up a house of wax, What's more dangerous? Being in the collapse of a house of wax, and even more so the aftermath of being stayed inside of it and trying to get out of it as the wax is leaching into the soil, or being inside of a house made out of cake and it collapse. And once again, within the soil, uh, trying to get out of it and the soil being like a soup that now you've got to swim out of it or being inside of a house of cards and it collapsed making shrapnels of ink everywhere and you're trying to you know dig your way out of that out of the shrapnels of the cards that have been broken everywhere or getting out of a house made out there's the uh, wax there's the the cake cards oh a house made out of glass 
or is it more dangerous getting out of a house that was made out of glass and a rock was thrown in the house of glass and you have to dig your way out of the shrapnel and the ground of the soil caught on fire and melted all the glass. Imagine if there was a drawbridge in either of those houses and a moat had a swamp going all around it. And now you've got to understand the underlying factors of that complex. And in either case, what is more dangerous? All of those complexes breaking and or the amount of things that could happen within the internal structure of a skeletal structure if it were the same as the builds of all the beams of the complex structures is one in the same at a certain point when it's breaking into oblivion but at what point would the oblivion of all the breaks come up with a solution from the moat that you didn't know was there the whole time. had a blueprint and it was wrapped around all like the uh, walls and uh, it was like it's wallpaper. Point would be oblivion of all the breaks. Paper and then the beams, how many blueprints wrapped around beams would it take from the moat that you didn't know was there the whole time. In order to build a house of wax. Making a house of wax out of multiple blueprints would be justified as the writing on the wall would literally be the instructions. You know, we can really turn this thing around in the drop of the dime and really utilizing how simple uh, ring theory is, is just a point on a graph. And then the information about that point is what the head of science and mathematics are stuck in trying to figure this would happen in a singularity, uh, the surface about that, and then all particles around their surface, what's going on there. Um, that's the ring theory, the string theory of, of course, all matter is made up of strings inside it, the interior of the interior. It's a great scoping of how wiring utilizes switches uh, of electric current in order to deduct codes and passages of firewalls. A firewall, a great diagonal of like a drawbridge, if you can utilize bandwidth and such sorts. Or Bluetooth, having a device turn on and off and having your Bluetooth of your headphones switching from different devices as it's breaking is like a Morse code. And Morse code is like what an Atticus is to a calculator. And clocks are real important. So a clock is like a different breed of a calculator. All these things within um, light and sound are really the orchestrators of nature and how great a recipe could be. And with being an enthusiast uh, about such and such and an advocate of what and what not, uh, the superheroes, their powers are ostensibly widely orchestrated through sensory and stellar activity. Which is what I'm trying to indicate through facilities or just regular houses and uh, the ability to manage what your diet is. So in advocating uh, not having a whole bunch of these groups that get funded uh, because none of them have really done anything except for trying uh, reorchestrate the Bill of Rights and uh, and then being an enthusiast of first responders. Here's an idea with light and strobe lights or pixels. Uh, there's a whole bunch of pixel dynamics which can be utilized in the cosmos because everything is red and blue shifting. Pixels are a makeup of red, blue, and green. The green is a odd striking image of what mirrors are. Uh, mirrors are really correlated to green, and which is funny that the cosmos would have the deep radio 
field being all green. Look into deep space. It's a giant mirror. And really I'm an advocate of putting your money where the mouth is. You know how many tax dollars go into um, the schooling systems and then they're all just shaped by these companies like the